right click on your desktop click on show more options and then go to nvidia control panel i'm on windows 11 so i have to go to show more options but for windows 10 users you can just right click and it will show nvidia control panel click on it you want to go to adjust image settings with preview now the quickest method is to go to use my preference emphasizing and drag this all the way it will be balanced by default you want to drag it all the way to the left to the performance so nvidia will then preset your settings to the settings it thinks is best for performance i use custom settings so i recommend going to advanced 3d image settings so you have more control over your settings you want to click on take me there it will take you to manage 3d image settings these are the settings i use uh, feel free to copy them if you want i'll scroll down slowly or you can pause the video Okay, so these are the settings I use. Now, the most important settings, actually there are three most important settings that you wanna make sure they are always turned on. By default, they'll be turned off. I don't know why Nvidia does that. So low latency mode, you wanna make sure this is on or ultra. You don't, you don't want this off, trust me. You don't want any lag in your game. This is for that. I don't understand why Nvidia turns it off by default. So I leave it on, oh, sorry, I leave it ultra. A lot of people complain that on ultra they get a lag. So I recommend tr putting it on and see how your game goes. If on works for you, try ultra and see how it goes. I think Nvidia have developed the uh, Nvidia Reflex in game settings. So you can turn it on in game. I think in Fortnite is uh, on or on plus boost setting, but that's only if you're on DirectX 11 or DirectX 12, you can't use it in performance mode. So I, re I recommend putting this on on or ultra. I leave it on ultra because it works for me the best. Second most important setting is power management mode. By default, this will be on normal. You want to make sure this is on prefer maximum performance because you want your GPU to give maximum performance to the application or any application you're running. I'll leave it there. And the last most important setting I recommend is VSync. You want to make sure if you want the maximum FPS out of your GP, you want to make sure this is turned off because what this does essentially is it will limit the FPS that your GPU sends to match your monitor refresh rate. It will try to sync with your monitor's refresh rate. So say for example, someone with a laptop has 60 Hertz monitor or screen. Your GPU, if you turn this on, your GPU would only send 60 frames per second to match your monitor refresh rate. You don't want this on. You want, you want this off. Let's go to change resolution. So for resolution, I use 1440p native resolution with the 280 hertz. You want to make sure you're always using the maximum refresh rate your monitor has to offer. Okay, so the color settings in NVIDIA. This is not for FPS. This is mainly for how bright the colors you see in game you want to leave everything normal really you just want to try to play with the digital vibrance and a lot of pros tend to use this setting between 60 to 70 percent i have left mine at 75 percent because i like how vibrant the colors are at 75 percent i've tested it at 60 percent i like it at 75 percent you can play around with it or you can leave it normal this is just optional it's not for fps again this will not affect your fps at all G-Sync, this can affect your FPS. I have turned this off because I cap my FPS in games. I cap my FPS to 280 to match my monitor refresh rate. What happens is if you, if you turn this on, your monitor will try to sync its refresh rate to match the FPS that your GPU outputs. So for example, in Fortnite, let's see your GPU outputs 600 FPS or is fluctuating between 200 to 600. If you if you notice in game at the top right, your FPS is always fluctuating up and down. So your refresh rate will try to match that. Sometimes it will go to 200, or sometimes it will go to 600. But now it's a different story if your monitor cannot handle 600 Hertz. A lot of monitors can't anyway. 
Um, that's why I turn this off and I cap my FPS in games because I don't want any screen tearing or input lag. It, you can get some screen tearing because of that or input lag if your monitor refresh it cannot match the FPS, your GPU outputs. So I turn this off. Like and subscribe if this video helped you.